morning. I'm Dr. Harold Katz, America's bad breath expert. I'm here in Homewood at Heart and Soul Coffee. I've got my bad breath machine here. We're going to check out the breath of Alabama, Birmingham specifically, see how Birmingham ranks and see if their breath is ranked. Do you think you have bad breath? No, I don't think so. Your tongue tells us a lot about your breath. If your tongue is pink and shiny, that's very good. But if your tongue has white or yellowish, that's a sign you're overproducing sulfur compounds. Do you know what causes bad breath? Not rushing? Partially true. It's caused by bacteria live in the back of your tongue, throat, and tonsils. Do you ever use like mints or candies or things like that? I, I try not to with all the sugar. Okay, that's important because you can't mask bad breath. Yeah, a lot of people think if they use like uh, candies or mints or peppermint, that'll mask it. The problem is a lot of them contain sugar. Sugar feeds the bacteria that cause bad breath. So you're way ahead of the game. I have a little machine here, it's called a halometer. It measures bad breath. The parts per billion. So all you do is stick your tongue out and hold your breath. I think you're gonna pass the test. Did you have breakfast? I did. Okay, that's very good. It's very good to have breakfast. That stimulates saliva. That's a good idea, always have breakfast. I do a lot of testing of bad breath all around the world, and one group of people that always has bad breath are supermodels. So never date a supermodel. They always have bad breath because they smoke a lot. Do you smoke? No. Very good. They drink a lot. Do you drink? No, not really. Okay, good. Okay. So don't smoke because that makes your breath very bad. If you drink a lot of alcohol, that makes your breath bad. And if you're a supermodel, that will make your breath bad because you skip breakfast. You just did something before you came in here. What is that? I smoked a cigarette. Smoking does have an effect on your breath. It does. And we're going to find out because I this thing that's buzzing here is called a halometer. Take your tongue out and hold your breath. If it's above 100, you're not kissable. 109, I'm sorry Brad Pitt just hung up on you. <laughs> Stop smoking, Brad will call back, I promise. Okay. Okay. Now, onions are a problem. Now, I, know, I see you brought an onion with you. Now, don't have it yet. I'm gonna test your breath before and after having the onion, and I'll show you how to get rid of onion breath. Stick your tongue out and hold your breath. Cutting off, you have 93, so you're just below the borderline. Your breath is good. Why don't you have a bite of that onion? You went from about a 90. Let, let, let's see what your breath went up to here. Uh, 300, 400, 500. Uh, you don't plan on going out on a date right now, do you, Mike? No, sir. Okay, you just passed 700. Yes. No. <laughs> These are the conditions that can trigger bad breath. A dry mouth, thick saliva, excess mucus in your throat, if you eat a diet high in proteins, smoking, drinking alcohol or alcohol in your mouthwash, hormonal changes, medications which have dry mouth as a side effect, which could include antihistamines, high blood pressure medication, history of diabetes, special diets such as the Atkins diet, and excessive use of old-fashioned oral products which contain alcohol or sodium lauryl sulfate. Well, I, I must say Birmingham came out really good on our list of cities. They're probably one of the best smelling cities in the southeast. Uh, but if uh, viewers want more information about how to keep their breath fresh, they can come to my website, therabreath.com, T-H-E-R-A breath.com. And for the holidays, we're giving out some free samples of TheraBreath. Call my office, 800-557-6960, 800-557-6960, and get some free TheraBreath mouthwash, toothpaste, and a copy of the Bad Breath Bible.